If you've been watching classic game room for a while, you know that I like controllers that are larger than the game console itself. This is the dream stick for the Xbox 360, and yes, this is larger than the entire Xbox 360. Here's the uh, standard Xbox 360 controller just for comparison. You can see that uh, the dream stick is a lot bigger which it is. What makes the dream stick a dream to play, I would have called it something else like the awesome stick, but they called it the dream stick. What makes it awesome is the joystick because this is the best joystick that I've seen on any controller for the Xbox 360. This is a real arcade style joystick, which is not surprising because the dream stick is manufactured by dream arcades who primarily manufacture home arcades. They stand up full size cabinet kind. While they primarily market this for fighting games like Street Fighter 4, and it's really good for that, I'll get into that momentarily, I think that this is ideal for the wealth of arcade games being released on Xbox Live and in Xbox's new game room. Because it's the only controller that you can use your right hand and you don't even need to support it with your left hand because this is made of solid wood. It's not moving anywhere. You can just play Pac-Man like you'd play Pac-Man in the arcades. I tend to play Pac-Man right-handed, Ms. Pac-Man right-handed. This, this is perfect. This is the controller I've been searching for for years. But it's not for everyone. Let me tell you why. For one thing, it's missing something very important. Well, important for some games, not for all. What's it missing? Well, it's uh, kind of obvious, the D-pad and a second analog stick, as well as triggers. So, uh, this is really only for enthusiasts who want to play arcade games or fighting games. The Dream Stick is expensive, but you get what you pay for. In fact, I think that you get more than you pay for because it has incredible build quality. Real arcade style buttons, it's heavy and it has an awesome joystick. This is only a couple $20 bills more than some of the other mass market produced fighting sticks. And you know the ones I'm talking about, they're not bad, but frankly, I think they're overpriced. This one is not overpriced. This is the one to get for fighting games. No question about it. I've been using it for Tekken 6. Let's take a look at the button layout. For many fighting games on the 360, you can actually customize your button layout. And uh, this is what I've done for Street Fighter 2 on the Xbox 360. This is your light kick, medium kick, heavy kick, and so forth. You can see if you look on the front of the Xbox 360 controller, it has a similar button layout, and uh, these two buttons are actually the front buttons here on the Xbox 360 controller. Arcade style buttons, really big, well designed, looks nice too. This is pretty cool, let's take a look at this. Here's the joystick and the start button, which looks like a one player button from an arcade machine. This is the select button and the green one here acts as that button on your Xbox 360 controller. In fact, if we look at the back of the unit, this is the button that you would use to sync it up with your 360. Here's the joystick itself, which as I've said is the best joystick that I've seen on any Xbox 360 controller. This, this is a lot like the MAS arcade stick that I reviewed for the Neo Geo. Similar style of joystick. Oversized, feels like a real arcade machine. Here's a look under the hood, so to speak. It's held together with giant screws that look like this, and that's where the batteries go. I thought for sure this thing would have a beating heart, but it doesn't. Just uh, wires and stuff. Wouldn't that be creepy if you opened it up and there was like a pulsating heart in here? They should do that just for kicks, just to freak out people when they put the batteries in. Like they open it up and it's like, ah, it's a heart. If it didn't have all these awesome buttons and a joystick, you could eat lunch off of this. It's like a table. The Dream Stick is available in numerous finishes. It's basically a custom joystick. This is the finish that I like, the non-fingerprint um, one. And my counter's not exactly even here, believe it or not. Uh, if you play this on a coffee table, this is not sliding around anywhere. It has little feet on the bottom here. Now in Tekken 6, this controller works really well for the fighting. It's awesome. In fact, I will not play Tekken 6 anymore without it because 
As, the, as uh, good as this controller is for driving games and shooters, it's terrible for arcade games and fighting games. But in Tekken 6, you need to use the D-pad to create your characters or change your character outfits and stuff. So you just turn this one off in your 360, hook up your standard Xbox 360 controller, do what you need to do with the D-pad, and then uh, unhook this one and turn this one back on. It's just a couple button pushes. Some people might find that annoying. Frankly, I think it's worth it for the quality of the controller. But for games out there where you need to use the D-pad, this won't work. The joystick on the DreamStick acts as this thumb stick here on the controller, but this is not an analog joystick. It's an eight-way directional joystick. In fact, you can hear that clicking, that clicking noise that you hear in the good Neo Geo controllers. I'd like to thank everyone at Dream Arcades for sending me this joystick to review. They loaned me this one, and I liked it so much I bought it. There's no way I was sending this back to them because it's the only controller I've, I've found for the 360 that works like a real arcade joystick for games like Ms. Pac-Man. I've been searching for years. This is a wireless controller, no strings attached, no wires required, and this lights up bright green like you see here when it's connected to the Xbox 360. I use this controller in my reviews of Tekken 6, Pac-Man, and Street Fighter 2 for Xbox. 360. It's great for doing all those movements, throwing fireballs. The last that I heard from them, this is a limited edition controller, but I think they'll change their mind if thousands of emails come flooding in from people who want one, and I think they should make one for the PlayStation 3 as well. And while they're at it, make one for the Neo Geo, Sega Genesis, Vectrex. How about the iPod? Because there's no good joystick for the iPod. That's what I call portable. You know the controller is good when the button configuration is larger than the game console. Not just the controller, the buttons.